Okay, so let's check out our algorithm for today. Pete likes to bake some cakes. He has some recipes and ingredients. Unfortunately, he is not good in maths. Can you help him to find out how many cakes he could bake considering his recipes? Write a function, cakes, which takes the recipe object and the available ingredients, also an object, and returns the maximum number of cakes Pete can bake, an integer. For simplicity, there are no units for the amounts. <clears throat> um, ingredients that are not present in the objects can be considered as zero. Ingredients that are not present in the objects can be considered as zero. Okay. So the example, cakes requires flour 500, sugar 200, eggs 1. Um, and he has flour 1200, sugar 1200, eggs 5, milk 200, and that would return two cakes that he would be able to make. All right, so, all right, so, um, Let's, so I'm going to get this, or try to get this done within 20 minutes. Oops. All right, so we are going to first... So we're going to need our integer that we're going to return. So let's uh, declare that first. So let um, count equal zero, and then we'll end up returning count. Oops. Okay. So. So I think what we're going to try to do is we're going to iterate through the ingredients in the recipe, and we are going to subtract those from the same um, from the same property in the available object. And if we get to the end of that uh, recipe object, we're going to iterate by one. And if we are unable to Take an ingredient or take an amount of ingredient from the available pool because we've run out of that. Um, we will return count. So um, this is just going to be an infinite loop, I guess. So while true, because we want it to keep going until we run out of ingredients. So while true, for ingredient n, and we have to declare that for let ingredient n recipe and I believe the ingredient's gonna be the property. Uh, we're gonna have to check that real quick though. So for ingredient in recipe. Uh, console log ingredient. Let's just make sure it's the actual property. I can't quite remember how that works. Okay. So let's do our sample test here. Yeah, so that's the property. So, So if 
So this is going to be uh, how we know when to return our count. So if um, recipe, so if in available ingredient actually, so if oops, available. Ingredient minus recipe ingredient um, is less than zero. return count because then we will have run out of um, our available ingredients. We actually don't need this count down here now. So if that's not true, we need to take it away from it. Uh, so um, oops. Um, so let's see, else, um, available Available ingredient equals minus equals because we're taking away from that um, recipe ingredient minus one or sorry mess recipe ingredient and then. Um, if we get through all the ingredients, we're going to iterate count by one. So count plus plus. All right, I think this is all that's required. Uh, let's run through our sample test and see if we... Um, okay, so first test passed. Expected zero, instead got three. So what I suspect is there is a ingredient that is being called for in the recipe that isn't even that isn't available at all. So recipe requires apples, and there's no apples in available. So we have to account for that. Um so so if uh, so if there's not the available ingredient as a property of available, we're going to also return count. Oops. Okay, pass both sample tests. Let's see if it passes uh, the rest. Okay, failed one. Um, wrong result for recipe nuts 0, butter 38, chocolate 67, and available ingredients. Eggs, flour, expected 0. So what's going wrong here? So it required 0 
of that ingredient. Oh, we have that ingredient. Why did this fail? <clears throat> Butter 38. Chocolate 67. So it doesn't require any. Uh, I disagree. I think this should have been right. So expected zero. Well, that's not right because it doesn't require any any nuts, and we have lots. Butter thirty eight, and we have lots of butter, and chocolate sixty seven. Yeah, I don't agree with that. Let's see. Um, yeah, I think that was just a poorly written test. So let's see how long that took us. Okay, about uh, well nine minutes, so about ten minutes, thirty seconds under our goal time there. And the top result, or the highest rated result, let's see how close it was to what we ended up doing. So uh, they're returning object keys from the recipe object, and then they're reducing them. Um, return math min four. Yeah, this is like a way different approach than what I did. Um, and I don't 100% understand it, but uh, if I walk through it a little bit more carefully, I'm sure I could. All right, so if you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe and um, check in for more content and happy coding.